Hi, my name is Michael Burton with MichaelBurtonFilms.org, located in Salt Lake City, Utah. And we're here talking about Microsoft Windows, how to use Microsoft Windows. And now I want to talk to you about how to move the taskbar around the desktop, because a lot of people don't know that the taskbar on the bottom, where the start menu is, can actually be moved to the right, left, or top, thus creating a personalized, customized, like a personal customized web, uh, desktop. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Let me start out by saying that Windows XP is a registered trademark of Microsoft and I am in no way affiliated with Microsoft. Okay, so the taskbar is this bar right here along the bottom. Okay, it has, it has all your quick launch buttons right there. It has your start menu and it shows your current uh, 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 files that are open or your current programs that are running. The best way to do this is to right click onto your taskbar itself. If you right click on the taskbar itself, it'll bring up these options. Here you can see that I have the taskbar locked currently. So if I come out here and I click on the left button, I try to drag it, see it's not going anywhere. If I right click on this taskbar and I unlock the taskbar, do you see this extra line right here that popped up and now I can make these two arrows? See that? See when I was on the lock, see that's not there. I don't have those, that two arrow option. What that means is if you unlock the taskbar, see you can actually take these two arrows and stretch your taskbar. Okay? So you make it huge and you can just line up all these files right here on this taskbar. There have been times when I've had multiple, multiple uh, internet uh, pages open at the same time. So many that it starts to stack them and number them, but it can only do so many until it won't let me, uh, until it doesn't fit them all on there. And so this is a good way to, you could stretch your taskbar and, and see a lot more of your work going on down here. Um, I don't recommend it. I don't like it. But uh, if you need to stretch it maybe even a little bit, uh, that's always fine. You can customize it any way you wish. Now, once you're in this mode and you're, and you, and you're unlocked from your taskbar, you can left-click and hold on your mouse on your taskbar. And you see how it highlighted? And then you can move your taskbar. Move it over here to your right. Drop and release. See? So now you have your taskbar on the right-hand side of your screen. You can click on your start menu. It brings it out just the same as it would on the bottom. It just looks a little different. So I guess it's, it's according to your preference of where you wish your taskbar to be. Again, I can left-click and hold and drag my taskbar to the top, which would then give us this look, where our taskbar is on top. All of our programs up here, all of our quick launch buttons over here, and then we have our start menu over here that would drop down as such. Again, one more time, I can click and hold, left button on my mouse, drag my taskbar to the left. Now I've done it to the left. Now if you notice right here, when I put it on the left-hand side, my recycle bin and all these files that start on my, which would normally be the left side of my desktop, have now shifted over, and that has become the new left side of my desktop. And then you're able to view all your programs stacked on top of each other like this down the left-hand side. That one I actually like. That is actually very handy. But I usually just tend to keep it down here on the bottom. I think that's the best. And then, of course, I just always keep it locked just for the heck of it.